I earned it. Where the fuck is it, Becky? I spent some of it. Not on me. Not a visit, a card, nothing. I just thought... Did you think about me? At all? I think my face will be reminding me of you for a while. Maybe not as long as you think. Where's the fucking money, Becky? Just untie me, you can have it all. I never got in any trouble until I met you, and then you got into my head and you opened a panel and it's like I stopped thinking. It was just some crazy fantasy that we took too far. I'm still me, I'm still Becky. 18 months and I didn't hear anything out of you. I was afraid if I called I would get in trouble. I was too afraid to even try and write. A postcard? You could have sent a postcard saying, hi Tommy, thinking of you. You could initial it. You have to understand. I was so scared. I saw you on TV every night, and I'm holding the money that they're talking about. I came to that door, and you ran away from me. Not into my arms. You ran away. I was afraid, and for goddamn good reason. I am so sorry. I'm not a nice guy anymore. I was. I really was. Good credit, not even a traffic ticket. But a year with you and 18 months in jail, and all of my nice is gone. You're still a nice guy. You're just afraid, like I am. Afraid of what? I'm not the one tied up in a chair. You have to start over. You have to find a job and a place to live. I just need my money. You could crush here. There's room. I have a parade of hookers I need to take care of, and I want my fucking money! Wouldn't you rather be with me? <sighs> How did we go from this to that? I forgive you. Do you forgive me? For what? For spending some of the money. I felt so guilty I had to see a therapist. Guilty about what? Not calling you or writing. I couldn't tell the therapist everything, but it felt so good to have somebody to talk to. You know, I saw a therapist in jail. He was an asshole. I can introduce you to mine. And money's probably marked, you know. I took care of that. How? Like you said, a casino. You gambled with marked money? No. I would buy chips at a bunch of different casinos and gamble a little bit and then stop. I told them I was trying to kick an addiction and they would cash me right out. And I told you to do that? Yeah. It was your plan, after the bank. I don't remember that at all. Casinos don't care where money comes from. Please, untie me. It doesn't need to be this way, okay? You can have the money. It's in a safety deposit box. At a bank? The bank that we robbed. What? I went back after they reopened. It was, it was like a week or so. I was so red. They must have thought I had a fever. I was so nervous. Why the fuck would you do that? Because no one who's guilty of bank robbery goes back to a bank that was just robbed and gets a huge safety deposit box. It's crazy. It is crazy. But the money's been there ever since. Except what I took out for therapy. You know, you could have been on one of the security cameras when we robbed the place. Hmm? Did you think of that? I didn't think of that. See, that's why you're just so much smarter about this stuff. When does the bank open? Tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. Saturday hours. I have that whole schedule memorized. Tommy, I cannot stay tied up here all night. Get my money. Honestly, it's all yours. I did everything you said to do after robbing a bank. I never moved. I kept my job. When did I tell you all this? Outside, in the car, right before... Oh. It's like you had this list in your head. Yeah, well, putting the money back in the bank we robbed it from is not on it. No. That one was mine. 
Thank you for not telling the police about me. I kept expecting them to show up, but they never did. I just can't believe nobody saw you drive away. It's like you said. Nobody robs a bank in a Prius. I said that? Sorry. It's just that uh, jail was hard. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Thanks. Hungry? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh! Oh, what's wrong? Oh, my foot fell asleep. Which one? Oh! oh. Fucking bitch, you ruined my fucking life. Your life? I had to wait around for you to get out of jail so I could finish this transaction. Transaction? I had a year into you to get that bank done, and then I've got to blow more time waiting for you to get out? A year? Tommy, you were perfect. You were just like me. You had no friends, no family to speak of. You were free of bad influences. What are you talking about? You never said to launder money in a casino. You've never had an idea in your fucking life. And I would never take money back to a bank that was just robbed. Then why did you I had a string of banks going before you. But we just robbed one. Do you remember the psycho ex-boyfriend in jail? What? Yeah. Well, he was in jail for three banks. Then I had a fiancé who robbed one. And then there's you. So that makes five. You've done this before? Go Team Tommy with your big old thinking cap. Are the others in jail? They are not. So you just went your separate ways, right? Time to recharge the thinking cap, Tommy. I'm not getting this money, am I? Looks like it's gaining power. You can't just shoot me. People are gonna hear the bullets go through the fucking floor. They'll kill your neighbors. It's cement floors. I've used this location for a long time. Cleans up quick. I'm gonna miss it. Just take the fucking money. Why do you think I didn't scream for help? I don't know. Because I didn't want to be interrupted while I was killing you. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Honey, are you at work? No, everything's not okay. <laughs> Do you remember the psycho ex boyfriend? <laughs> yeah, the one in jail. Well, he got out, and he just tried to kill me. Uh, I'm in trouble. I really need your help. C can you come over to my place? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I love you, too. <clears throat> Great. Gonna be all puffy. <sighs> Yeah, hi. Can I get a pizza delivered? It is Becky. Is this Jose? This is so nice. It must be a legal meeting you once more. Feeling so good. It could be against the law. Yes. I'm loving you, yeah. This is an age that curbs.